What's going on everyone? Hunter Dole here from Philly Insider Podcast and Inside the Eagles. And today we're starting our player review series. So I'm going to start with a really easy one. Jake Elliott on special teams. This guy was just phenomenal this year. After what was probably his worst season of his career in 2020, he bounced back with easily his best season of his career. 90 plus field goal percentage this year, I believe. And I believe he was in the top five in longest field goal this year with that 58 yarder he hit. Under 40 yards, he didn't miss a kick. That was something we got on him for, was missing some of the easier kicks in the past. Over 50 yards, he was perfect, three for three. So he didn't take too many kicks, but he made every one he had. Only area where he kind of had trouble, you could argue, is in the 40 to 49 range. But I mean, one of them was blocked. That's not his fault. It was an incredible play by the 49ers. And then the two other ones, one came against the Bucks in the regular season, I believe, and the other one was in the, against the Giants at the back end of the season. Those are the only two games where he really had misses. And to be honest, I mean, they weren't really terrible misses or anything. They, they were tougher kicks, and he just hooked them a little bit. So for the most part, he made solid contact, swung through, and just his confidence soared this year. I mean, that was a big thing, I think, that was the difference. was Last year, I mean, he missed that 22-yarder, I think it was, against the Saints. Um, and that one game right before halftime, and you could tell at that point his confidence was not there. He had a 73% field goal percentage last year, I believe. So um, always been around that 80, 83, 84 range, but this year took it up a notch, got it to 90, 30 for 33 on the year. Unbelievable. I mean, I couldn't have imagined this. And I think something we got to mention is in terms of contract, yes, he does have a bigger contract. It is, in terms of value, it is the fifth, I believe. But in terms of how much he's making per year, average annual value, he is around 13th, so we're really not paying him that much, and his dead cap continues to go down each year. So for some reason, he does kind of lose his confidence again or just has a little bit of a rough year. It won't cost as much to cut him after 2022 and 2023 and so on. But I, I don't think that's going to be the case. He's been pretty reliable during his career here, even in those earlier years when he was younger. Um, he wasn't even that bad. He was solid, and I think that's something you got to value in the league is having someone who you can rely upon, especially in the clutch situations. He does not miss too many clutch kicks when we need him to. One of the obviously we know that from his rookie year, but you know you go you go back to the Texans game we had um, where he made that game winner in 2018. Like he's he's made some pretty clutch kicks down the stretch. Obviously, the Super Bowl he had the one to push through an eight point game. So um, and I know these are earlier, but even this year he had some clutch kicks that we wouldn't have won games without. So. Yeah, credit to him. Great year. Usually in these player reviews, I'm going to go with what went right, what went wrong, and what's the outlook for 2022. What went right, I mean, I kind of just talked about all that. What went wrong, not very much, just those two kicks. And then look outlook for 2022, yeah, he's definitely going to be on the roster. Easily the kicker here. I don't see a need to bring in competition. I, I, you know, I think it's safe with COVID and all that stuff to bring in someone for the practice squad maybe, like they did with Matt McCrane a few times, just to have him as a safety option, just in case. Also on kickoffs, Jake had 61 touchbacks this year, which was the most of his career, and a 63.5% touchback percentage, which I think was I think was either second or third. It was third, third in his career. So um, yeah, he got he booted it off deep pretty well. I think he had his highest, or second highest kickoff average this year, so props to him for that. And yeah, best year of his career by far. So I wanna give props to him. Looking forward to seeing him go out there next year. And, yeah, stay tuned for the next player review, guys. We'll be getting through every single player who, who contributed on the 53-man roster. And, yeah, with that said, guys, run, booby, run. Fly, goes fly. See you all later. Peace out.